doing their handshakes. I'm curious to see how that energy translates to play. Opening face-off is being brought to you by Fine Line Tire at Hancock. Fine Line Tire Express at Houghton, where we serve you the guests. Huskies have control. Good job by Williams. We'll uh, send it back down deep. Here's a center and a tip. Oh, and a save made there by Grabko and just robbed the Huskies of a goal. Back to the point. Yedlin with it. He'll send it back over. Williams with a shot. No traffic in front. Grabko makes the save. And that is a highlight reel stop right there. Backing up now, Michigan Tech back across the line. Jansen with it, backhander towards the goal. Did it sneak through? It, boy, it's right there on the line and grab goal. Now we're gonna keep him in there. All right, a little bit of a warning it looked like. And the Huskies win the draw. Back from Pedersen to Pietala. Over now, a shot taken, save made there. Pedersen knocks somebody down right there in the crease. And the shaking up a little bit, but seems to be okay. Now Platter will help it out to center ice and then Anux get a very important clear. Now picked up by Jack Works on the fly, cutting across the neutral zone. He'll backhand it down inside of the zone. Zabo sends it around, intercepted by Isaac Gordon. Gordon looking, centers it, here's the shot, scores! Sardarian gets his first goal and wins a beauty. What a pass from Isaac Gordon, top shelf by Sardarian. One nothing Huskies. Sardarian in the high slot. He made no mistake, he went top shelf. Grabko, no chance, he was screened by his own defenseman on that. And you watch Gordon come in, he knows that Sardarian's there before he stopped that opportunity, but the Huskies still have it. Play inside the Michigan Tech zone, looks like a power play right now. Here's a shot, save made by Grabko, goes high into the air. Sardarian has it. Here's Chase, back for Sardarian. Sardarian for Chase, one-timer, sailed it just high. Here's Sardarian, shot, glove save by Grabko. Sardarian trying to get away from Jack Works. Sauces it back to the point for Rickard. Back over for Rupsa. Power play for the Nanooks. A shot blocked in front. 7.22 left to go in the first period. one nothing Huskies. Eight seconds left to go in the penalty to Lepa. Four hooking. Shot towards the Husky. Go big rebound. They go to the back door. And Michigan Tech back to full strength. The play still deep in the Michigan Tech zone. Huskies will start to make that uh, Campbell with it now. He had trouble with it. Supi falls down and good pressure here by Alaska. The walk in from the point, deflected in front. Big save made by Barrett and, and trying to fish it out of their four or five Husky jersey. Can't find it, now they do. And now it is Pedersen. Pedersen will use that big reach. Trying to get around the defenseman, has control. Pedersen leaves it there for Pietel, pinching in. Draws it, toe drag right there and Grabco does a great job. Ooh, that will stay down inside of the Michigan Tech left wing corner. Eight to four are the shots held in by Dick. He'll send it down to the right-wing corner of the Michigan Tech zone. Shot towards the goal right there in front. And Max Vernon couldn't hold on to it. Let's get on a power play brought to you by Edward Jones, financial advisor Brent Peterson. Here's Chase, Sardarian. Down low for Works. Chase, one-timer, scores! Chase Beal on a great one-timer from Sardarian. And the Huskies get a power play goal and go up 2-0. Yeah, what an absolute bomb there by Chase Pietola. Just a little bit of pitch and catch there with Sardarian. And we got all of that one there. It happened out there, right? Everybody knew what was going to happen, just how do you stop it, right? Yeah, I think they kind of lulled, lulled them to sleep a little bit with the three passes before the shot. Uh, what a nice shot, though, right inside the left side post. So the Huskies with a power play goal. Back to the point. Sabo now sends it wide of the net. Alaska has played here enough now in the last couple of years. There's a steal, shot, save made by Varanen. And the Nanus with Aaron Holtz down in the right wing corner. Really Backhand pass over, and the Huskies get it across, but again, not able to connect, and Breed will intercept. Minute 40 left to go in the period. Breed skated it up, up to the right wing. Rickard now across the line. Delays, takes the shot, but pass Varanen, and he scores. Big goal for the Alaska Nanooks. Defoe, I think, ended up putting it in. If I have that right, or maybe Pekia, but it is Defoe, and it's a one-goal game. Sooner or later, he just crashes the net. He plays so hard, and just a little rebound that popped out underneath Max Varon, and then Defoe is right there to tap it in. Henderson had a guy right on him. He was unaware of that. Turns it over. Chance for the Nanook. Here's Gaffney now with 10 seconds left to go in the period. Shot towards the goal, and scooped up there by... Hold that puck get a change, get some new legs on the ice to close up. Alaska with Reed, trying to dump it in deep, not able to do so, Hertig sending it up now. Here's a chance for Michigan Tech. Across now, Sardaria to his forehand, and a save made by Drabko. Makes a move to his forehand, and is able to work it down. Huskies have it behind the net. Wrap-around attempt. Oh, and he almost stuffed it in. That was 
Baker on a backhand wraparound attempt. Like you said, he does have a cannon of a shot. And unfortunately, that one went right into the bread basket of Grabko. Handed it off, and the Huskies able to break it up. Oh, and a chance for a breakaway. Works is losing for the puck. Here's a guy in front. Works holds on, shoots, pass. Oh, and Gordon got stopped somehow by Grabko. Works trying to make the smart play, and he sends it back. Piano will hold it in. No goalie down there for the Nanooks. Huskies have it there, score! Oh, they said no. They said no. Huskies got to keep playing. Isaac Gordon, I think, score, but they said no. Yeah, but would they put time back on the clock? I'm not sure. Yeah, that's a great call. The officials thought it went out the inside of the post. And now, with five seconds left, the cross comes. Rush, loose puck is there. The Huskies will hold on for the victory. Getting outshot tonight, 30 to 8.